All right, Shalom. We the Hebrew Israelites coming week in and week out to prophesy the downfall of this wicked kingdom, which you people know is America, which we know is Babylon the Great and the daughter of Babylon, according to the Holy Scriptures. Okay? And to tell you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans that you're the true children of Israel, you're the true children of people of God, and you better repent because the kingdom of heaven is at hand. If you don't repent, you will be destroyed. But before we get into that, we're going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem Rakash. Yep. We call Kadash double honors to the apostles, the elders, the great millstone. Salutations to you, brothers, to the four corners of the earth, preaching his word and laboring his word in true love and sincerity. Right. In the true name of the Heavenly Father, who you people call, ignorantly call God, is Yahweh. All right. And who you people ignorantly call Jesus Christ, his true name is Yahweh Shai. And the Lashawan Kadash, ancient Palo Hebrew. Which is the language our forefathers spoke, okay? Our language that our people spoke when we came over here and to this land, America. Well, actually, some of the people that came over here to the Americas, they, they still kept the forms of the Hebrew, you know? And that's our true language. All right? Right. They got books out there uh, showing you and telling you that when people came to, to talk to the tribe that was already here, they needed a Jewish interpreter. You know? And the two main people of the story of the Holy Bible is who? Jacob and Esau, okay? These are the two main characters of the Bible that who you, who you people need to inquire about, who the people need to inquire about and search of, all right? Because Jacob, right, he represents the 12 tribes of the children of Israel, which consists of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And then you got the other one, Esau, right? Which he is a progenitor of the so-called white people today, right. all right? The Edomites, all right? And like the brother was saying, the two main characters. You know, if you ever heard the saying, art imitates life, you know what I'm saying? Through the spirit, the most high God is set up where they show you in these movies, that there's the uh, the hero, and then there's the, uh, the counter hero, man, the anti-hero. Yeah. And in this particular situation, the nation of Israel, uh, you know, and Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, on down, is the hero. And Esau been set up to be the anti-hero, man. Yep. The we, yep. Yep. Right, you know. And we're here to tell tell you what's to come and, and the different roles that's being played out here on the earth. What? First of all, the Israelites, they need to gather yourselves up, man, and come back to the Lord. And repent, man. And leave off with your wicked ways. Chapter 9, chapter 2, verse 1. Yep. Gather yourselves together. Yea, gather together, O nation not desire. Right, who is that nation not desire? You Israelites, okay, you're that nation not desire. You're that nation that all the people around the earth look down on, despise, reproach, mock, slander. You are that nation, man, okay? You walking up and down the streets, what, what, what happens when people see you? You know, their women clutch onto their purses, yep. they lock their doors, they put on their car alarms, right? They, you walking around the street at a, uh, 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 you know, through the neighborhood, you know, they, they close their door and lock it instead of leaving it open with the string on it, you know. Yeah, you know, it, 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 all these different things, when you move into the neighborhood, they got these different sayings that they come up with. Yeah. Oh, there goes the neighborhood, yeah. you know. And, and recently, the news has really been showing the true spirit that's on the anti-hero, you Edomites, yeah. you so-called white people. Now, that's in a general term, because right. some of our people don't look like Edomites, but for the most part, even my so-called white people, y'all are showing your true spirit against the true children of God, uh, the descendants of Jacob, man. The true Israelite, you know? Yeah. Uh, he, a, a, a so-called black man can't live in an apartment building without having another resident act like he owned the, or she owned the building. Like she the police, what apartment do you live in? Uh, show me your key. Oh, show me your apartment number, you know? You, you don't own the building, nor are you the police to try to stop, but that's that true spirit of hatred. Every time they, they see us, they just they, I don't, they, they frown up their face and they feel like something needs to be done to remove us from their presence, you know? But that, that's how the most I said it.
may be here in the day of the Lord's anger, man. So that's what you should be seeking, man. You should be seeking, seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read, man. You know, so you can know how to be uh, humble, right? Humility, you know, meek, you know, all these different things you gotta seek. Read that quote, that quote over. Seek ye the Lord, all ye meek of the earth. Seek ye, ye the Lord, all ye meek of the earth, which are the Israelites. Go ahead. Which have brought his judgment. Yep. Seek righteousness. Seek meekness. How do you seek righteousness? You seek righteousness through the Holy Scriptures. Go ahead. It may be you shall be hid in the day of the Lord's anger. Right. The only way you can be hid in the day of the Lord's anger is what? If you are predestinated to be hid in the day of the Lord's anger. You an Israelite, all right? Yeah. Got to repent before this place is destroyed, all right? Uh, you got to do what? You an Israelite. You got to repent. Come back to the law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High before this place is destroyed with nuclear fire. Yeah. You got to seek him so it, that you may possibly be saved from what's coming. The Buddha? No, the Most High God of Israel. Who is that? His name is Yahweh. Yahweh? Yeah, they okay, call him home. God or Jehovah. That's not his true name. Right, and see, like he said, who is that? You know, that's why we're supposed to be on the highways and valleys, teaching our people who the true power is, who the true God, man. who the true Savior is, man. Your, your true powers, man, that's who they are, man. The God of who? The God of the Israelites. Right? Now, you read before the decree bring forth. This is the decree, right? Isaiah 10 uh, and 22, it says, for how you going? Uh, February. Valley is your boy. Yeah, yeah. So this is uh, Isaiah 10 and 22. Right? Brought forth that decree that's going to be brought forth. It says, for, I'll start at 21. Uh, we can start at 20. It says, and this shall come to pass in that day that the remnant of Israel and such as are escaped of the house of, of Jacob shall no more again stay upon him that smote thee, but shall stay upon the Lord, the Holy One of Israel in truth. The remnant shall return, even the remnant of Jacob, to the mighty power. For though thy, for though thy people Israel be as the sand of the sea, yet a remnant of them shall return. The consumption the creed shall overflow with righteous with righteousness. For the Lord God of hosts shall make a consumption, even determined in the midst of all the land. Therefore, thus said the Lord God of hosts, O oh, my people that dwelleth in Zion, be not afraid of China says the Edomites, okay, the so called white man's today. Yeah, he is the devil, man. But that's not all white people, you know? Because yeah, this is not about skin complexion. Right. It goes by the city. Yeah, I understand that. Yeah. 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 
just just right. because yeah, like just because you got uh, uh, the, the white skin complexion don't make you need a money. You know what I'm saying? So when we say so-called white people, we gotta general we gotta generalize it. Colonizer. You people, <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's one of their characteristics too. You know, but we gotta speak that in general, you know, for people to understand who we're speaking about. You know, and of course, with that comes some people that take it the wrong way and they want to get mad. But if they come ask us questions, we'll explain it to them. Right. I'm not getting mad, but I know, I know you're not getting mad. Look right here. This is tell you, Joe 9 and 4, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked, he covered the faces of the judges thereof. So when you look right here, these are some of the richest men on the planet Earth. And they rule everything that happens on the earth, they control it from, from, uh, from the shadow, all right? So all this war, all this uh, famine, all this people starving to death, ain't enough money to go around, the, the environment's getting messed up, it all goes back to these men right here, right? Yeah, you want so me to call you when I get question, there? Question, you know? Them are, them are the elite banking family, the royal of earth, the fake Jews, the Jewish people, you know, the, the high elite of the society, which you would know is the Illuminati. This is what people will call them, the Illuminati, the people to rule the world. You know? Yeah, some of the richest men in the earth. Now, so when we say, you know, that so he's all the so-called white man. So-called Jews, yeah. right. But they come from the line of Esau. Yeah. The so-called Jews are the chief tribe of Esau, man. The, the Amalekites. Yeah, get Job 9.24. Yeah. That's, that's why the brothers just quoted that. Job 9.24. The earth is given to the hands of the wicked. It comes to the wicked for the judges thereof. It's not where and who is it. Job 9 and 24. Uh -huh. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Yep. He covers the faces of the judges thereof. Yep. It's not where yep. and who is it. You know? The urban is given into his hand. They rule everything. You know? They control everything. The media, the prison system, the, no, the diamond okay, district, the oil. Again. They control the money. Everything is given into, hand, into their hands. Why? Because it's their time to rule. But also, this is the end of their rulership as well. We're coming in the time of the end of the rulership. That's why the Heavenly Father had his men on the highways and valleys speaking to his people. Telling our people to repent and turn to the Lord before he pour out a, a, a destruction upon his place in America, which will be by thermal nuclear fires shot out by the other nations. You know, but also telling these other people of the other nations what their judgment is going to be, what their role is going to be in the kingdom of heaven. Okay, the kingdom, the kingdom of heaven will be here on earth. All right. So let's go into these main people we're speaking of, you know? Because like, like we started the, uh, how I started off, you know, we were speaking about the two main characters of the Bible, right? Jacob and Esau, okay? And you people need to know who the pe these people are, man. Jacob is the progenitor of the Israelites, the so-called black Latinos and Native Americans, and Esau is the progenitor of the Edomites, the so-called white people. And if you know, Jacob, uh, Esau is the uh, Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that follows. Right. You know? And who is ruling right now? So-called white people, the Edomites. Man. They're ruling. This is their empire, but this is the, also the land of the world. When you look at Job nine and twenty-four, it says he covered the faces of the judges thereof. Right? He covered the faces of the judges of the earth. Right. By doing the Renaissance, uh, what do they call it? Uh, is it called iconoclasm? Iconoclasm. Iconoclasm. They repainted. Uh, many of the true images that you can find some of them in this uh, that Some of those, like those paintings, are Russian icons of true biblical depictions of the saints of the Bible. They were so-called black people, okay? So they repainted uh, uh, the judges. Name, the name of the first chief judge being the Messiah. The Heavenly Father. The Heavenly Father and the Messiah. Yeah. And, and, the, and the children of Israel. The right? angels, the prophets. That's right. The children of Israel. Right. So they changed they, they changed them. They changed them from being so called black people to being white people. That's how they covered the face of the judges. So now we sitting here in America, Babylon the Great, calling ourselves Africa, thinking we Wakandans, you know, some heathen nation. No, we're God's chosen people. We they said, do you not know that the saints will judge even angels? But you can't judge nothing if you can't judge who you really are. Walk around calling us 
Alright, but get Genesis uh like 25. Alright, so we're gonna go to go to these characteristics of these people. There's two main characters that we're speaking of. This is Genesis 25. Okay. Starting in verse 21. Yeah. And Isaac entreated the Lord for his wife yeah, for because sure. she was buried. Yeah. Rebecca, like we just wanted to say. Yeah. And the Lord was entreating of him. Uh -huh. And Rebecca, his wife, conceived. Yeah. And the children struggled together within her. And she said, If it be so, why am I thus? And she went to inquire of the Lord. So the baby was fighting in her womb. She was like, Dang, Lord, if you went with children, why they fight? And the Lord said unto her, Two nations are in thy womb, and two manner of people shall be separated from thy bow. And the one shall be stronger than the other people. And the elder shall serve the younger. Right, so the Lord said, two nations are in thy womb, man. Two nations of people, two different manners, two different characteristics. And it says what? One is stronger than the other, right? And the elder shall serve the younger. And the elder shall serve the younger. So now when you look at today, physically, mentally, spiritually, who are the stronger people? So-called white man or so-called black, Native American or Latino man? We are. You see, even in our lowest state that we are here and now, we're still stronger, man. You know? When you look at sports, we dominate sports. We dominate, we dominate. Yeah, we dominate the sports world. We dominate the entertainment industry. Anything we do, we prosper. Right. Why? Because we're the chosen people. We're the Lord's people. You know? Yeah, keep going. Oh, because it says what? Look here. Read that over here. And the Lord said unto her, in Genesis 25 and 23, and the Lord said unto her, Two nations are in thy womb, and two manner of people shall be separated from thy bow. And the one people shall be stronger than the other people, but the elder shall serve the younger. Let me get this. Jeremiah 51 verse 19. The portion of Jacob is not like them, for he is the former of all things, and Israel is the rod of his inheritance. The Lord of hosts is his name. So I ain't, I don't nobody have no characteristics like our people do. No. Can't no one be as special as our people, how our people is, man. Hey, you know, it says we are the former of all things. In right. other words, we are the original. Yeah. When it comes down to these different things that have been created, think about all the inventions that have been stolen, the different forms of music that have been stolen. Yeah. You know, we yeah. are the original when it comes to the And if other people are it's still the same. You know, that's basically what they're saying. Yeah. Right, and it says the elders will serve the, serve the younger, man. And there was a time where the, the elder, which is Esau, so the white man did serve us, man. But right. guess what? They're going to serve us again in the kingdom of heaven. Right. Right. You know? It's called the dark ages. Yeah. Right. yeah, and that's part of the promises, man. That was promised to our forefathers, man. Promised to the Lord that what? We will rule the world, man. Yeah, yeah. we created all things for our faith. Yeah. You know? Yep. And that's coming back on the planet Earth, you know? That leadership is going to be given back to the kingdom of Israel. Why is it so hard for Christians to accept Yahshua's real name? Why are they stuck on Jesus? Well, Yahshua is Yiddish. The Paleo people, his name is Yahweh Shah. Yeah. Yep. But for them, it's hard for them to accept it because they just, the Spirit wasn't given to them. In fact, yeah. you can get that if you want. You know what that word is? Uh, what would it? Uh, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, Romans 11 and 7. Romans 11 and 7, yeah. Want me to get it? Uh, Romans 11 and 7. Well, this is the text why I'm scripture. You look at Romans chapter 11, and then verse 7. Yeah. What then? Israel have not obtained that which is secret. What is Israel? I know what you're talking about. That's why they in all these different religions. That's why they in all these matters of man. They certainly searching for the truth. Why is that? Because a lot of the books in the New Testament, man, if you look at it, when they translate, whenever you translate one language from one language to another language, you won't always lose something. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes, yeah, yeah, and yeah. A lot of the names of the people in there, you know, were Latinized or, you know, they just changed. Yeah, I understand that, but what you have to realize is, if you believe that the, that the Most High is ultimately in control of everything, you have to have enough faith to know that he's in 
First of all, he put stuff in black dogs and black people. That's the whole thing he did to me. Black people just was mean. Only the elected ones are mean. 